Kei te ora te wai, kei te ora te whenua, kei te ora te tangata. The water is healthy, the land and the people are nourished. I'd like to take you back to the beginning of time. In te ao Māori, Rangi Nui was torn away from Papa Tuanuku and darkness became light. But the disruptive parting caused the gods to fight. An army of insects descended on earth to end the battle. Today we need an army of insects to reduce the damage caused by cattle. Let me break it down. We are world leaders in the agricultural industry and we share our land with over 6 million dairy cows, 3 million cattle and 29 million sheep collectively producing over 100 million tonnes of dung per year. But we didn't think about the impact it would have on our land, water and climate. Now New Zealand has no indigenous grass grazing mammals or beetles to eradicate the dung produced by them. And we are now at a stage where contamination of New Zealand pastures has caused serious economic, environmental, ecological and social damage. Meet New Zealand's soup, environmental superhero of the 21st century, the humble dung beetle, aka Scarabaeoidea. He protects the earth, fights harmful emissions and pests, and asks for nothing more but a field of poop. <laughs> this handsome guy can improve soil health and pasture productivity. They love to tunnel, which leads to increased aeration of the soil, allowing water to penetrate better. Increased grassroot growth and biological activity under dung pits. Dung beetle activity therefore leads to reduced microbial contamination and runoff and better retention of dung and urine in the soil. Reduce parasitic worms and fly pests. Dung beetle activity destroys the eggs and young larvae of parasitic worms. Faster burial of dung reduces the number of breeding flies. Reduced greenhouse gas emissions. The burial of animal waste and improved infiltration of urine into upper soils will reduce the production of methane and nitrous oxide, decreasing the emissions of greenhouse gases associated with animal waste. What needs to be done now? To make a real difference, Beetles need to be released on a regional scale so they can multiply rapidly. This will result in measurable improvements to our waterways, soil and climate change. This can only happen between partnerships with farmers and the wider community. The dung beetle can be our environmental hero eliminating effects of contamination to zero. Improved soil, reduced runoff, pasture productivity, nu nutrient recycling, enhanced forage palatability. Viability and potential impacts have been researched and tested, but for the beetles to thrive, we need everyone invested. A single dung beetle cannot act alone. We need an army of beetles to clean up our home. Whatongarongaro te tangata, tuitu te whenua, whenua. When the people are gone, the land still remains. Kia ora. <laughs>